Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. I smell quite strongly of pickles today. <laughs> no context. Little Z. Uh, I have the ability to fold my eyelids back. Not don't a good do one it, to Please have. don't do it. Pop it one. G'day. Bonjour. Konnichiwa. Um, hallelujah. Mr. Oh, no. Worldwide. <laughs> um, do you guys fold your clothes or just put it in a drawer? Chuck it in. I'm a fold man. I'm a folder. Anyway, you terrible topic to start with. I got the best birthday present of my life over the weekend. Now, is this decoy. a fake birthday present or the real yeah, one? Yeah, was this the next decoy? The <laughs> this decoy was the, f- the third of three decoy presents. So we were talking about the decoy oh, yeah. present Maddie gave me last week. Basically, she gave me a present she thought was shit, which I was pretty happy with, and then gave me a real present. Also made me a decoy cake, which we had at home. And then lastly, I thought I was going on a pirate cruise. And <laughs> Idiot. I mean, you guys know because they were there. Yep. Maddie had thrown me a surprise birthday party as like a weekend down south. Yep. Yeah, as a little holiday. So that was fucking awesome. Little getaway? Yeah, yeah. You're pulling up at the house. You're like, those aren't pirates. That's my friends. <laughs> well, I couldn't be sure with Cogger, but the rest of you, I knew you weren't pirates. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. On the podcast last week, you were like, for my birthday, will you come to my party? And Cogger was like, nah. <laughs> he was already yeah, committed to going to this thing. We come to one social event. I was like, nah. Well, Maddie did take a video of me when I got surprised because I thought I was going on a pirate cruise. Yep. She hit it very well. And they were like, oh, the ship leaves from Mandra, which is the place we went. Go down south. The friend who was driving me was like, oh, I got to pick up something on Facebook Marketplace on the way. Nice. And this was something she would definitely do. <laughs> so it was a good ruse. Then I rocked up there and I was like, is that Maddie? And then I was like kind of surprised. And then I was like, is that Cogger? <laughs> 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 yeah, that was, was the craziest walked thing. out of the car, eye patch, peg leg on, ready to, <laughs> ready to go on a swashbuckling cruise. <laughs> Arr, me hearties. Hope I don't walk in the blank. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie was a bit worried that I'd be so sad that I wasn't going on a pirate cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Oh, man. Everyone's saying that. Like, oh. oh. Well, the way she described it, to you, I'd be disappointed too. It sounded pretty good. Apparently, it doesn't may have, quite exist. Yeah, she, she may have, have built like it up deal. too much. It was Wait, like free drinks on this free pirate food, cruise. free drinks. Oh, really? Pretty cheap or something. I don't even know. I think it was like thirty dollars. She said to me or something like that. That's what she told free Zach. Food, free drink. And Zach was like, "Pirate oh, ship, oh, free the pegging cruise. with the peg leg." No, that was, all the work. That was extra. <laughs> 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 no, but so we went down south. You guys were all there. Yep. Uh, Peter and Jackson mm-hmm. could only come for the first night. Jordan was there for. Two nights and wow. had a good true hero. good little party. Had a good old time. Went to, went to the beach, played some games. Yep. I've never had a surprise party before. Have you guys ever had like a... No. Or I have even been, been to one person, but it was nothing like that. It was just like when we were still in school and it's like, oh, they're not going to know we're here. Let's hide in the closet. Yeah. And then we came out and we're like, ha ha, we're at your house. Yeah. <laughs> I've never even been to a surprise party. And we were talking about it last week, but the birthday was my 27th. So let's be honest, not expecting anything. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty average birthday. It's uh, maybe the most average. It's a good way to get a surprise chips. one in. But. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's like. I'm not going to be expecting it. Very surprising. <laughs> Honestly, next year could be the best time. You're not going to expect two surprise parties <laughs> oh, in a row. Sure. I was saying that to Maddie. I was like, maybe I'll do a surprise party for you because it's so obvious that, that it's not. not. Obvious. She, no, you got to throw Ooh. two surprise parties. So the first surprise party is the decoy, decoy. surprise party. <laughs> no. And oh. then like you invite, you know, like 10 people, nice games in it. Then next one, 100 people. Yeah. Lots of presents, like venue. Food, drinks, pirate cruise included, everything, dude. It's gotta be pirate cruise. I think I've had enough decoy presents for life. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty, pretty elaborate setup. For so much decoying. For, yeah. me, for me, as a non-gift giver, I couldn't imagine doing anything worse. Like, like trying to organize that because oh, it sounded so stressful. She did so much. Yeah, yeah, she did so much. Like, because the thing is, it, it's not just a surprise party at your house. It's a surprise party at someone else's house. So you have to get all your stuff for a weekend away and pack it all. And it's like, man, how do you do that without someone noticing you pack up all their shit and take it away? Yeah, how did that work? I was getting bullied, dude. I felt so, everyone was like, man, how did you notice? And then Maddie was like, yeah, I snuck out all your clothes, your glasses, even your (laughs) suit and all that. And I'm like, from my point of view, like, it's really not that much to notice, but everyone was like, duh. You offloaded Ollie, your dog, to your mum the morning of. And you're just like, oh, that's funny. 
<laughs> Wait, I what? Didn't, I didn't suspect a thing. Well, mum, mum just took Ollie and he was like, okay. Because I thought on the pirate cruise, she was like, oh, Ollie's going to have a sleepover. Oh, that makes sense. So you don't want to have dogs on the pirate cruise. Well, yeah, they weren't going to take well, him. No, no, no. <laughs> he can no. be home alone for one evening. No. Yeah, but um, she was like, oh, I didn't know how I was going to steal your glasses. She like packed everything up. But the one thing I think you guys would know, yeah. she, uh, we had... Uh, an event on the second night, which we'll talk about in a bit. But basically, oh, everyone was wearing. I do know. So if you don't, oh, okay, okay. Everyone was wearing suits or really nice dresses it's and like high cut tail attire. Yeah, oh, I don't know this. Mm. And obviously, Maddie organized such a good weekend, like all this food, drinks, yep. all my clothes, everything. But she forgot my dress shoes, and boy, I let her know because all the photos, everyone's got nice shoes, and I'm bare feet. It's <laughs> like <laughs> so just walking around in his suit, and bare feet. <laughs> yeah. So all if you the see, photo ops, yeah. you see any photos on Instagram where I just look like. Like a homeless person that's been given a suit. That's why. Yeah. That was another thing that I had never done. We did a murder mystery night is why we we're all. Uh, I was going to say up. one way or the other, Jordan ended up in handcuffs. <laughs> but yeah. yes, it was because we did a murder mystery <laughs> night. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. So you guys obviously weren't oh, there dude. for that. Yeah. Sad. Uh, it was, it was cool. We had a guy come around and host it and he had this like mm. bright gold suit and he was really getting into it. He's like, it's Hollywood. He like, everyone had roles and there was like, I was the producer. It's what I would imagine you would do in the future if YouTube doesn't work out. <laughs> Which you good. would. I reckon yeah, you'd have yeah. fun doing that. Like hosting parties. Basically everyone got given a role and you got given clues and you had to work with your team and other people mm -hmm. to find out who the murderer was. Ended up being Jordan. It was me, but I didn't know. I the way picked that. The way it works is like I also didn't know. <laughs> oh, of, really? Yeah. What happens when you find out you are the murderer yourself? You're just like, oh, don't I guess, tell anyone. Not, no, because you're all in teams, and then it's like whichever team comes up with the most accurate story for what actually did happen, win. So you're kind of so just they turn along. you in. Yeah, but I'm yeah. also like I'm also like oh, it's my character. Oh, you're but honest. You your character. You don't actually like be your character, really. You didn't actually kill someone. No, no. Oh. But what I found funny is hmm. the girl that got killed immediately was actually playing the game the whole time too. And like she was on yeah. my team helping us investigate. But it would have been really funny as well if he's like, someone has died. And then they pretend to die. And he's like, all right, now just lie on the floor You're for two out. hours. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> You're out of the game. It's like round one mafia death. <laughs> you know, it actually reminds me, I haven't thought about this in ages, but um, when I was in year 12, I was in the school play. And it was like a murder mystery style thing, except it was kind of like, it was like absurdist. It kind of made no sense. Someone had to be the dead body on stage for the play. Oh no. And then like they come alive at the end because it kind of like all unravels. Spoiler. Yeah, I know. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't even said the name it. of it. <laughs> but like they literally had to for seven nights in a row of this thing, lie on the floor on a stage for about an hour <laughs> and then get up and do stuff. They had to be a body for that long and not move. Like yeah. how bored would you be? I feel Terrible. like a lot of people would fall asleep in that situation. Yeah. And they're uh. like, oh, what's happening with the body over there? Is it <laughs> rising? Oh and it's like, nothing's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a kick. Yeah, snoring stuff. Yeah. yeah, like, that's what a stupid role. Respect yeah. to that person who did it because I wasn't going to do that. That would suck. But, um... I don't even know, but yeah, it was it was good. Yeah, Would you recommend doing this to other people? Surprise? No, the uh, murder <laughs> mystery. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think like if people are into that, if you like board games, if you like some element of, we didn't do too much like role play, but I yeah, think it could I even it be a good be a... idea for an underdogs video, like more Ooh, acting and stuff true. type stuff. Yeah, if we get into the roles like I'm Turk McBottom and this is my <laughs> story. Turk McBottom. Well, other well I had to think on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Are there other games like that? Like a murder mystery night, but for other things? Like everyone is... Well, Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, true. People have wanted us to play that Dungeon for ages. Yeah, we yeah. should do that. None of us are pros at it though. So but we, you just we, need a pro. I know we've had a lot of people like message us being like, I'm actually a pro, I'll yeah. run it for you. But we're never really like bitten on that. I don't know. I don't know if that's the, t <laughs> the best content. It goes for so long. Yeah, it's really no, but long. but you could just do a short one. But I think that you that can, is a yeah. good thing for a... um streaming series mm. i don't know well, you can just do like a two-hour playthrough i It'll think the biggest good. thing for me would be that we haven't found the dm because i have to be someone that we all get along with and gets our vibe. yeah but yeah. i've played dungeon dragons once and it was so fun yeah it's pretty it's fun like, it's actually the best i remember it being bad i've also played oh, it once played it? like 10 years ago it completely yeah. depends on who you play it with i think that's true but you, i or, or have you? watched community and that made <laughs> and it look that was fun sick. Uh, i have have you seen node do it do no. you know node Corridor Digital. Anyway. I think what the appeal of it for a lot of viewers yeah. is that it like anyway. really builds up lore and stories though for a long time. So like one two hour set isn't really the best way to do it for content. No, well I've watched ones and it's just like a very short it's just kind of like a bunch of people who are on this adventure. And like 
It still would be like a that's still long, like right. two hours or three hours of recording to shorten it down into like a twenty minute adventure where we're role playing and like someone dies. We're like, no. Mm. Anyway, let us know <laughs> if you want that underdogs Dungeons and Dragons. Or let us know if you don't want that. We always say let yeah, us know if you want true. that. So we always get this yeah. echo chamber of yes. True. Let us know if you don't want it e- as well. I let like it, that. E- either way, leave a comment. Or if there already is a comment, upvote the one that you agree with. And yeah. if you're not bothered, write that as well. <laughs> yeah. Shark Tank this week, though. That was a just good one. Just went up. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Watching Huge. Jordan's presentation back with the flyby. Guys, if you haven't seen that, check <laughs> out. We basically did Shark Tank and we all pitched it to ourselves with fake money. Yep. No, it was real money. We, no, I, we I spent committed. the money on flyby. Well, I gave Jordan the 500 grand. Yeah. Where's the million from Jackson that I'm meant to have? Yeah, it's coming through. Oh, have I been fleeced? Oh, dear. <laughs> I've already bought 1,400 boxes of Plan B to make the shake mistake. <laughs> <laughs> those lines were great. Yeah, uh, watching those videos, that we all have a different way of presenting these things. Yeah, which is quite interesting, and it kind of also went for the TED Talks one. Mm. Whereas, like, did you find the styles paralleled? The styles were very similar. Yeah. Whereas, like, I do it much more straight, and then try and come up with an actually good idea. I actually have yeah. real points. <laughs> Whereas Jordan just completely ridiculous, but really funny. And Jackson's <laughs> is like. Jackson, yours is like making fun of the system itself yeah, maybe. by being so absurd about it. <laughs> and Zach's is idea. like classic little Z humor with like puns and yeah. stupid. I feel shit like mine's like, like plays on unhinged, words. Yeah, a bit unhinged. Yours so is frantic. Yeah, well, my, so my Shrek. Shrek one was yeah. a lot of talking about fucking Shrek characters. Yes. That was also and then frantic. it was frantic. I think they were all quite similar and we all have our different delivery style and it's all quite different. Yeah. So that, that's interesting. I call them homework videos where yeah. every underdog has a bit of homework. They got to prepare a presentation. And if you guys have any other formats that you think would fit the homework vibe, like Shark Tank's I one. Should really we come with a more us. fun name than no, a no, homework <laughs> video? <laughs> what we, I think what we should do next time is the one where we present each other's PowerPoints. So That's great. We make a PowerPoint oh, and then true. we all like four way swap them. Yep. And so oh. you're just like, hi guys, so I'm going to be showing you. And then you click the slide and you're just like, Oh shit. Yeah, we and should do that. And you just see what you have to then present. So that, that's what we should do next. We'll just make sure that Peter's pre- presenting Jordan's. <laughs> that would be so <laughs> funny. That be some good That would be the most like, I'll be like different. Yeah, if I was presenting your ants, I'd be like, why ants? The- they couldn't beat up. Oh, <laughs> ants could <there's- laughs> oh. Do we have a question of the week, actually? Speaking oh, of which. Already. Uh, let me have a- While you're oh. looking it up, let's do the intro. Three, two, four. It's Bob the Bob one, one question of the, of the week. week. But da, da, da. Oh yeah, the fast food places you reckon give us more food so we crave it. More food? Yeah. Like what super size? No, no, no. Like, so if you get like, a can I, like, can I have a burger and a drink? It's yeah. actually cheaper to get it in a meal. Oh yeah, that's like a, it's like a false idea of value. No, but because, so no. that we crave it. Yeah. But like, why would they actually make it better? The burger's fine, but then there's the they put nicotine in the chips. Isn't it so the it keeps same? You coming yeah. back. It's the same reason, like if you buy six juices, it's cheaper than buying six individual juices. What? Well, okay. Look, what do you mean? What? Put it this way. Let me try and work it out. Simple. No, no, no. Let me work it out. So you're saying there's six juices. What six, is a juice? six pack of beer versus buying six individual beers from the shop. No, no, no. But it's not. Oh, what? <laughs> All right, skip over it. You're not getting this. So, so I think no, you John, are such a simple. Is it concept. cheaper than a five beers to get a six pack? Yes, it's five individual beers. Yeah, yeah, probably. It's cheaper to get a six pack. Okay, if you yeah. buy a carton of thirty cokes, yeah, yeah on special, that's like twenty 30, bucks. Thirty cans. How did this fucking get seventy six percent in a maths test? This sounds like Adam bought okay, a thirty okay. pack <laughs> of coke. <laughs> if he bought four six packs, which is cheap. Well, John, John, three, level is, with me here. three is less than five. Level with me here, Jordan. <laughs> this no, guy. Two, sorry. Two per, is less than five. Per drink, yeah. when you buy in bulk, each one is cheaper. You know about buying in bulk is cheaper. Buying, you don't go to the shop and buy... Yes. You don't pull one bottle out of coke out of the fridge at a time. But that's you buy a multi-pack. That's because they're upselling you. There's no upselling happening if it's like, oh, can I get a burger and chips? And then they're like, oh, it's actually cheaper if you just get a drink as well. That's because they want you to do that. Well, I think the thing is- is that's not upsell. That's a downsell. What they've done is they've made it so you feel like an idiot if you don't buy a value meal when they've just made the individual items overpriced. Yes. Like that is not value. It's what they actually should be selling everything for, but Uh, it makes you feel like you need to buy more things. I thought they were trying to- Fatten us up. True. No. You do think someone's a little bit of a psychopath if they get two McChickens instead of a McChicken yeah. meal? And it's like, well, I just want that. I definitely do that. I do nah, that. Nah, but then it's like, I'll, I'll judge you. I mean, yeah. the <laughs> <value> <laughs> drinks are just worse. And they you. do the same thing where they like make a large meal, like not that much more, but it just yeah, means uh, that the small well. meal is overpriced. Yeah. And it's just like, ah, oh, fuck. It's sake. all overpriced. 
Yes. Freaking, what's it called when you get petrol? Petrol stations <gasps> are the best food. If they had a drive through, they, they would get the takeaway out of there. What? Petrol stations have better food than takeaway No, places. they do not. 100%. It's There's way better for like you. It's packaged pies. It's like sandwiches. They got... You can get that from like Woolworths. Petrol you know station that. sandwiches suck shit. Oh, they're the best. I thought you were talking about the upselling thing. Fan ba- Fairband Films had a good video where they were like, uh, one drink will be five ninety, and then it's like, or two for six. Yeah, that's <laughs> a classic. Yeah, well, the I petrol stations ups- love that. I try to upsell my Shark Tank video. The why would you buy it? Yes. Yeah, yeah as well. Model Y might would you buy? Might as well just get the Model E. So, do you reckon on a different podcast they're like, why did Jordan make the Model Y? Yeah, they don't. Well, I explained my reason. Yeah, but the consumers wouldn't know that if you, unless you're on Shark Tank. You know, if you're just a regular, if company, you're a regular mm, consumer, that's what's going to beat AI. The robots are all rising up, and they've got all unlimited information. Then one of them will try and find out why Jordan made the Model Y, <laughs> and it'll malfunction. Has no and logic. They can't Hang figure on. it out. The virus will spread. Jordan, do you think you're the most human human? The most human human. No. Like if probably we could, not. if I'm we could insert, ma- like you know how computers can get viruses. <laughs> What if we upload Jordan's brain to a computer as a virus? Die. Yeah. <laughs> and then it tries to work oh. out what Jordan's thinking and just like pfft, short True. circuits. Are you saying he has like the least out? logic? No, but it's like, like a, I don't think AI could ever invent a Jordan question of the week. Or a, a classic pop sentence. I think they could. could not have been created by AI. Yeah. Maybe by I'm AI. the most robotic. <laughs> Maybe Controversial. He's the mo- <laughs> Maybe your intelligence is artificial. <laughs> I A. I feel like I feel like I do need to say this because we we've got this joke of making fun of Jordan for his questions, but like we're all kind of like on board. The joke is Jordan's phrasing is very silly sometimes. Yeah. It's not that he's a big dumb dumb head, which we know, but none of us actually think. Apart from the last podcast when you literally called him stupid, but we'll forget that. Well, it, what it he said that time. time was very stupid. <laughs> what did I say last time? Oh d- it, no, you were saying how did you come up with that thought? Yeah, how does it It's just how people... Think. Yeah, no, I love the public question of the week. And this yeah. one, I think, very valid. I don't think it's right, though. I don't think they do that to addict you. I just think they do it to sell you more. Yeah, sell you oh, more stuff. I thought it was... Because you know how you eat takeaway and you're like, oh, now I can eat more. No, what they do, they put more salt in it because you get addicted to the salt and the fat. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that is the part that addicts you. Because if you only eat healthy food, you like don't even want takeaway. You're yeah. Like, oh, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> What if you're trying to like get gains? How do you eat only healthy food if you're trying to get gains? Rice, carbs. Yeah, but like carbs Pesto just get pasta. burned. <laughs> carbs what? Like you need like fat and like- I yeah. don't know. I feel like bodybuilders aren't eating junk food. Because like rice is not that like nutrient dense. You know, you can't just, you just fill up on it, right? Isn't it better with complex carbohydrates? I don't know no. exactly how it works. Six good- eggs every day. Yeah, that's You just got to be the fucking eggs rock. Eggs are super yeah. not high in calories. Look up the rocks diet. So oh, we should do- Peter, you Nuts. should try the Rock's diet. Obviously not as much, but Nuts. what he eats, you should try that. I feel like whenever they do these, like, what this person does in a day, it's just complete bullshit. It's like, hey, guys, fucking Mark Wahlberg here. Guys, I wake up at 4 a.m., I kiss my wife on the forehead, For then I go to the gym for six hours. And I was like, no, you fucking don't. I reckon if you followed an actual athlete, it would be legit because they yeah. have drug testing and everything. Yeah. yeah, celebrities have like 60 hours in the day. I don't know yeah. where they're getting this. <laughs> <laughs> they have like three workouts in between like yeah, two hours for emails and then like meetings and then there's no travel time. They're like uh, 4 p.m. like my half hour workout and then it's like 4.30 across the city for a yeah. meeting. It's like, no. <laughs> Is I the workout you fucking sprinted to the yeah. next place? <laughs> I imagine with celebrities it's very sus because what would be the reasoning to not just get yeah. injected by some smart doctors who are like, here you go. And it's like, beefy. Yeah, it. 4.45, meet my great friends for dinner. <laughs> Five, go with my other friends for drinks. <laughs> I was like, shut up. Oh, and you know there's always a four hour block of like family time. Yeah. And it's like, get fucked. You don't <laughs> see your kids for six months, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> no family time. I hate that fake inspirational stuff because it's meant to inspire people, but all it does is make people feel bad. What was the song during COVID? What? Uh, when all the celebrities sung like a line each. Oh, we are the world? Uh, no, no, no. Imagine, imagine. imagine. That was hilarious. And the best part was that I watched a um a music breakdown of it. Everyone's singing in a different key. Yeah. And it's like, so it's like, imagine all the people. And then it's like, living for today. <laughs> it's like completely different. Did it inspire you though? Uh, yeah. Nice. So it worked. <laughs> I mean, no, it did not inspire <laughs> me. I was just kind of saying What were we talking joke. about? I missed it. Daily routines. All right. What if you guys could give the an overview of your real oh. daily routine? Because we're some... 
you know, figures. Oh, yeah, we're famous. We're, yeah. we're celebrities. We're famous. So, all right, this is my daily routine. Uh, probably 7 a.m., wake up, unless I sleep until 9.30 a.m., Go get a coffee. <laughs> no, you never say these parts. Like, you just need to go with the best version of yourself. Yeah. No, I'm giving a real one. I'm oh. keeping it real. Uh, and then go get a coffee. What time? Yeah. How long you? How long for you well, to get up and get ready? Either 7 or 9.30. You have to pick one. Or See, get two I don't Do you fly out of bed to the coffee shop instantly? Like, what, what time are you getting the coffee? I do go to the coffee shop instantly, yeah. Okay. Usually. Uh, feed the pets, whatever. In and your then pajamas? work editing for, like, the entire day. <laughs> 9 to 5. <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> And oh, I get distracted, you know, in hour blocks Wank. during that day. Yep. No wanking, actually. Oh, respect. No pickle tickling. That's night time. Uh, and then time. five o'clock, Clock Maddie off. gets home, hang out with her, watch TV. Don't do that much exciting stuff except for volleyball sometimes. Ooh. Go to bed. <laughs> that was good. That was actually way more normal than... Um, but I was but it should be normal. That's way, what I'm no, saying. No, it's like you work during the day. Uh, my work schedule's all over the place. I For do like random a YouTuber. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you stream. Yeah, also, but I also do work at random times. Are you trying to bulk Peter? Yes. Is that what you ask? Now that you my can... Frisbee season is over, I am on the gym and eat train. I think just get... I think just eat takeaway and shit. I do. Yeah. That's it good. doesn't seem to do anything. No, raw <laughs> eggs. You need more protein, raw. less fat. Can I cook them? Yeah. <laughs> you said raw eggs. You gotta. Well, it's easier to drink six eggs than having a six egg scramble. Oh, not for me. <laughs> the actual fun, bore, no, boring answer that is no fun is calorie counting. Yeah. No, people say you don't have to do that. Well, you don't, clearly do. <laughs> okay, it's not working. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> what do I have to do? Calorie count? Nah. nah. <laughs> what do I have to do? Not... Drink 10 eggs? No, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, <laughs> do you want salmonella or fucking gains? <laughs> clearly, it's not enough. Yeah, but it's not that simple because it's it is like, for the gain weight part yeah but like if you literally can't eat anymore because you're so full like you're like yep i ate this many calories so like what does that achieve i think it's like Wait, actually you holding about? yourself accountable like you're like okay it might feel like you've eaten a lot some days like for me when i was doing it some days i'll be like oh, i ate a lot today and then i'll look and be like oh, didn't actually eat that much today yeah, said, yeah stretch you'll, your surprise, stomach. you'll surprise yourself because i, I think consistency as far as from what i've read consistently eating x amount of calories every day is actually the way to do it right yeah because you'll have maybe a two good days in a row but then like if you weren't counting it then you'd probably have a day where you're like 500 calories under what you're supposed to do that would counteract it. Yeah, yeah, even like coming here, I eat nowhere near enough just because I'm not like... Yeah, we just go out and get day. one meal. Snacking's actually the biggest way, eating nuts all the time. Oh, nuts. nuts. Sorry, nuts these, again, aren't really, these aren't really funny answers, but this is the actual <laughs> way to do it, I think. Yeah, See, my, I hate counting calories because yeah, you, you can get fun. like an apple or something, right? And yeah. you're just like, I had an apple and you're like, apple. And they're like, which size apple? Small, medium, large? You're like, oh, fuck it. And then it's like, Medium, 200 grams. You're like, I'm not fucking weighing my apple. Oh, well, you, you got it. that and it's like- You got to be weighing your stuff. Was it a pink stuff. lady? Was it a royal guy? I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, it's an apple. <laughs> Peter, do you want to do gains or yeah, not? it's such a pain. I'm trying. Yeah, I, I agree think it's a pain. I've counted calories for maybe two days in my it's life. Sucks. And I was yeah. so but sick of it. But that is literally what you've got to do. I think the strat is, which I'm also going to try, it's just, you just eat way too much. Because we're- at least us three, no offense, Zach. But we're like we're more likely to just lose weight accidentally. Yeah. So I think if you just we just overdo it, and then just get fat and muscle at I the same time. I can't eat that much. Just you dominoes, should just have a toffee dominoes. apple, toffee apple instead Ooh, of regular. Nah, Pete, you got to join me and just eat nuts literally every fifteen minutes. All right, thirty grams of nuts. Get bang. the alarm going. Literally, nuts. just do it. Shut like clockwork. Yeah, I might do a thirty-minute nut timer. It's actually <laughs> broken. I mean, do you like candy? Yeah, love it. Can these nuts fit in your mouth? Because they should, because that's a lot of protein. <laughs> and make sure you put that in the <laughs> app. <Yeah. laughs> Zach's nuts. Zach's nuts. Were they hairy? Yes. Should we move on to Jackson's game segment? Oh. Which I feel like we should have a theme song for as well. Jackson's game. Jackson's game. Jackson's game is coming up now. I'm having fun. Okay. Fun. We're going to do time. something that isn't lame. Oh, Jackson's come up with a name for this. had game. a name of the game. Um, Who do we blame if it's... Bad. Okay, ready? Well, if it's lame. lame. lame Who do we blame if the game is lame? Well, that name would be Jackson. Jack same. All right. <laughs> this game is called Retro Halloween because it's Halloween, Halloween tomorrow. That today. name was lame. What day? Is Sunday. 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 Monday. So this comes Sunday. out tomorrow, yep. this podcast. Yep. So but, yeah, but we record on Thursday. Podcast so in two days from when you listen to this, it will be Halloween. Unless you're listening Ooh, to this on Halloween. Wait, Sunday. Halloween's Monday. If you're listening to this on Halloween, boo! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Where did you guys stop trick-or-treating? <laughs> you like that one, Jackson? <laughs> <What's> it? <laughs> Yeah, I really like that one. Audio so, listeners, be, be careful. Guys, don't be don't be scared if it's not Halloween. Do not by the drive way. and listen to this podcast. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay. Um, no, I never went trick or treating once. Never. never. Good. It I sucks. didn't go trick or treating as a kid, but I did go trick or treating as an adult. Trying to trick or treat in Australia is such an uncomfortable experience. <laughs> what? Because none of the people that you knock on their doors, they want, nobody wants you to be there. Yeah. It's not really. It's not I normalized. Must, I must have lived in like a very family friendly areas. neighborhood. There's yeah. definitely areas that do it a lot more. I rich neighborhoods that, definitely do it more. Yeah, rich people. Do oh, it's the Australian trick or treat. Like, knock, knock. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> oh, where I grew up, it, like there were kids everywhere, and everyone was doing it. It must, yeah, yeah it must Rich depend suburb. where you live. Yeah, um, bro, Ballin. <laughs> <laughs> Your house wasn't a reasonably good suburb, right? Like, well, this was when it's not really a spoiler, right? but Marmion was the area. Yeah, and that's like pretty nice, pretty know, close to the maybe. coast. Good enough. Yeah. I found your location already. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even live there. I wish I got one of those, Peter. Ice well, an iced coffee. Mm. It's pretty good. Although I do need a shit. <laughs> Do you reckon they've given you more to make you addicted? <laughs> yeah, totally. You got a large so. iced coffee there. Well, you can get a large for like, same with the drinks. It's just free to get well, a large. Well, it's got caffeine in. Do oh, you, you think should stop drinking coffee, Peter. That's also a really good I know, way. it's an appetizer present, it's, but I'm so addicted. Is caffeine the only socially accepted addictive drug? Uh, alcohol. alcohol. Thanks. I don't think it's socially accepted to be addicted to alcohol. Uh, oh, right. Accepted to be addicted to it. Yeah. Sugar? That's not a drug. But it is addicting. I think it's a drug. It's not a drug. What constitutes drug? Bruh. Guys, leave in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> the drug. Oh, wait, wait. wait. I think it's a drug. I've got it. The drug that is addicting, that's socially accepted, love. No, oh, nice. Wow. Chemical. It's such drugs. a good thing for cafes, though. It's just like, ha, you're all addicted. Come in. Come on. Yeah, that's uh, Holly and I were at the cafe and we were both like, <laughs> we we're looking at everyone one, coming please. in. Because Holly is addicted to well, caffeine. Yeah, she had her third iced coffee of the day with lunch. And it was like morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like, what the hell? But it's just like everyone's going to cafes because they're addicted anyway. So it's like, oh, i got to get my coffee. And then you get other stuff. Because I was talking to my mum yeah. and I was like, do you have coffee? Like, like when no, you were younger? To coffee? And she was like, oh, cafes weren't really a thing. Yeah. Because not it wasn't a thing because people weren't having as much coffee. Yeah. But now it's like, oh, I got my coffee. Give me my coffee. Gotta go to cafe. Get my good coffee. Oh, I gotta get my caramel. So, it's pretty, so if you got a shop, make sure people are addicted to a product. True. To I'm gonna start selling dealers. children's toys with a little bit of nicotine or something sprinkled yeah, all nice. over. Yeah. Or like catnip. That, but, that could work. But cat toys. <laughs> You know, catnip is like yeah, a... Yeah, it already exists. Catnip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catnip addicting though. for cats. What's but that's catnip? what I mean. I'll start well, so a cat... You're going to invent human nip. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> good. Baby that's toys. great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Human nip. Human a rattle nip. with human nip on it. And then there's going to be like, you know, there's like the baby boomers. Like, I'm going to do a whole generation where everyone's addicted to human nip. We'll call them the nippers. The nippers. Little yeah. nippers. Little nippers. Oh my God. That That'll nippers? make it sound good too. Uh, the toy company will be called Little Nippers. That's great. Is it nippers when you're yeah, swimming? Yeah, it was like a, a level of swimming. Yeah. Anyway, game. Little nip nip. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, what we're going to have to do here is <laughs> transport your brain to 2010. And I've looked <laughs> up the top. Wait, wait. I think we have a sound effect for this. Keep, keep it going, Jackson. I've looked up the top 10 Halloween costumes. If you wow, can- Really? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 Transfer your brain back to 2010. Wow, wait, really? Wait, <laughs> let's set the scene. What was happening in 2010? So I've got some things that happened oh, okay, that year. Thank you. Right, the game is that you're going to have to guess five of the top ten and you get three strikes. Roger you're working was as a champ. team. Okay. Okay, maybe he was a champ. Right, here's some things. Did Apple? they happen on Halloween? No. This is 2010. So what is the spooky Wait, what's the game? The we have to guess what the most popular Halloween costumes were for 2010. Oh, yeah. Okay. Things that happened to get you in the mindset. Okay. Apple released the first iPad. Oh. I had a first gen iPad. Does that feel older than 12 years ago to you guys? Mm, that sounds about right. Nah, that's good. Feels right. less Angry old, Birds was still cool back then. Swine flu. Oh. Classic. Probably because of all the Angry Birds. Them pigs in that game. Maybe they gave it to us. Mm. Oh, they were pissed off. Maybe that's bird yeah. flu. <laughs> Lady Gaga wore the iconic meat, meat dress. dress. Iconic. Oh. No Factor. one's doing a meat dress for a casual Halloween. <laughs> X Factor featured oh. One Direction. Did Modern oh. Warfare 2 come out around then? Don't know. Those were the good days. TikTok by Kesha was the number one song of the year. <sighs> and Avatar was the highest grossing movie. Oh, oh. yo, let's go Avatar. So you oh, in the, get me out space? of this year. This year sucks. No, it's a weird good, year. I thought it was pretty year. weird looking up some stuff that happened that year. Whereabouts did the TikTok parody end up? I don't know. You want me look that up? No, that one, that thing was top of the charts in Australia for like a minute. Really? Yeah. Maybe it was an Australian so thing. Popular. I think it was an Australian thing. You remember? What is it? Like, wake up in the morning. Feeling like Winehouse. Yeah. That was before she died. Now it's been insensitive. Is it Midnight Beast? Is that the one? Yeah. Hang on. 
Anyway, you guys can start brainstorming some of these costumes. <sighs> I do, are we How many together? are we coming up with? You guys are all working together. Okay, you okay. come up with five of the top ten and you get three incorrect guesses. Oh. When? Wait, top ten for anything? Just Halloween. No, but like, does it have to do with those things you just told us? No. That's, That's just, just the time period. The That's He's just the time period. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking- It could still be classic. When did Iron Man 1 come out? Oh, like 2003. I thought that was No, it okay, did okay, not. Okay, it not. came out when I was in high school, but if it was That's too much after, effort though. I yeah, but it's tell just you a that mask. I remember reading that Iron Man 2 came out that year. Right. Ooh. What about Batman? Dark Knight. When did Dark Knight oh, come out? Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, Batman's a classic. Should we lock in Batman? What about Joker or Batman? Oh, Joker. Because people love no, being the Joker. No, that's later. Batman. Back, Batman. Yeah. No, it's got to be Joker. When did Dark Knight come out? Joker's too awkward to no, dress No, wait. As. Oh, my God. Remember people when I watched The Joker. Dark Knight three times? Yeah, when did I it remember come out? Dark Knight was 2008. Oh, I think that's still going to be up there. Or is he happy with that? Joker's really always popular. Joker's, yeah. It's a, and it I've was never still seen a kid dressed as Joker. Fun fact. Let's look. Uh, Batman? I Joker. I remember, Batman or Joker? Oh, Batman. Batman, Batman then. Less okay. time specific. Yeah. What about one of them blue people? Hang on. Avatar. No, Avatar. 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 the blue people. Batman? Yeah, Batman. Batman. Oh, what the no f- Batman. frickity frack. Frick and I'm going to save flip. you from doing two on the same thing. There's Joker, no Joker. 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 Okay. Uh, I haven't heard of... Uh, it might just be two classics. Things. Oh, which ones? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what one of them is. It's worth a try. Peacock. What? I was going to guess Peacock. What the hell is Peacock? It's like a, I've got a downstairs. Bird. Yeah, okay. A Peacock costume. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it just says Peacock. That was my next guess. Wait, did they? Unbelievable. Are these just generic things? Are we just going to be fucking astronauts? Or I Wait, when, like when was the last Harry just... Potter? People just dress as zombies or something, don't they? When was the last Harry Potter? Ghost. Dress as a sheet. That's classic. Harry Potter's a good one. Yeah, maybe we should just choose normal ones. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ghost. People ghost. ghost. Uh, I'm going to advise you don't go that route. Okay, let's not say <laughs> ghost. <laughs> right, that was Harry never Potter locked guys. in. Never locked in. Wait, that's what people Jackson's do. already pitying us. I think a shop made this. Well, uh, we got to guess yeah, something. I didn't fact check this information, yeah. so it's all bullshit. Yeah, well, where fake. are your sources, Jackson? Uh, TMZ, I we think. we got to guess something okay, on the so list. It's, it's got to be celebrity stuff. those blue fuckers from Avatar. He wouldn't have given us the Avatar clue if... I can tell you that my research was completely independent from the... Uh, I did the research first and then got the costume. So how are we meant to guess? I might. I'm just trying to get you oh in the scene, Zach. Ghostbusters. Katy Darth Perry. Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah, like the cupcake on yeah, the, cupcake on the t- tits. Katy Perry. That's not bad. You like that, Jordan? Sure. That was definitely that's not, not, that's oh, definitely okay. not it. Let's not go that then. I'm just trying to throw my mind back to this time period. 2010, 2010. This is hard. Should I give you some like clues? Yeah, yeah, yeah please. We're struggling. Okay. Do you remember the show Jersey Shore? Yep. I've never seen it. One of the characters from that is the number one costume. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Snooky. Bang. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Snooky. Yep. Also, within that was Paulie D, Wait, who I don't know. this is the biggest know. bullshit. I don't know who Snooky is. They're saying Snooky was the most dressed as Halloween. I was definitely an American thing. Time this as is well, definitely though. American. What that is show Snooki? was massive. Well, I don't know what it's Snooki gotta is. It's got to be a balloon person. It's not a balloon person. I'm Googling person. a Snooki. And then you could like twiddle your hair with you the other people. Like they, <laughs> they have hair sex. Yeah, they yeah, do. They do yeah. With the animals too. Respect. Oh, like, yeah, they connect how? everything. That's a good move. You're a guy. You wear like some long ponytail blue man. And then you can try and like twirl it into some girl's hair and then you've avatar fucked This is him. just a person. That's <laughs> yes, that is most costumes How do you are. dress as a it's person? It's a reality TV show, so they're a real person. Guys, can I lock in blue avatar, dude? It's not and blue avatar, I'll, dude. I'll cop the loss if it's... We all share the loss, Zach. I'm going to give right. you guys five lives so that you guys feel <laughs> Jackson, more. Jackson, right, separate, separate guess. I'm on my own team now. Yeah. Avatar. Bingo. Get oh. fucked, Peter. <laughs> yeah, you can't guess it. I'm on two. I'm winning. <laughs> uh, that was the second top... Uh, costume. Yeah, oh, well shit. done. Must be nice to only get the second one. You've mentioned two one. others Darth on this Vader. list. Darth Vader. Are we locking it in? Yep. Nope. We're on it. <laughs> <we're on laughs> we are. We're locking it in. We're on individual teams now. <laughs> yeah. Snooky was mine. Me and Zach are both uh, on one. Okay. Uh, Can we all have five lives? We're yeah, fine. fine. All right. I'm throwing shit at the wall. Uh, God. <laughs> Wait. Mm, what 2010. was it? 2010. Uh, I'm going to lock in Harry Potter. No. Fuck. I'm going to say Iron Man. Yes, number three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he stole it from me. He stole oh, it from me. Two points. Come on, Jordan. That's get on the board. Dude, what the fuck is a Snooki? <laughs> <laughs> Move so, on, Jordan. What Move is this celebrity boy? I don't know. Holy it's shit. Was Nicole oh, Kidman. Thor. No, Thor. <laughs> Thrift Shop. No. Oh, Thrift I thought that shop. came out that year. Is that year? That year? Malcolm, I might have been 2011 or 12. It feels like a 12 song to me. 
12 year old people <laughs> <laughs> come on Jordan the let's Hulk. get you on the board the Hulk no no okay we've got one more superhero Black Widow no damn it it didn't is it Zack's turn I'm very surprised this is the one on there it feels a lot more relevant two years ago the Hulk three years ago no. Spider-Man no oh. female uh, Wonder Woman. Yes. Yes. Oh. I was thinking that because we had a bunch oh, of boy ones. Because girls, gonna girls also need to dress up dresses. as Halloween. Yeah. Oh, that? Yeah, okay. So we've got... Oh, girls exist. Oh, oh, we've got... The, the white Wait, male podcast has made a discovery. Oh, snooky. We have three more singers. What? Lady Gaga. Yes. <laughs> what is this? Three? This is the craziest list ever. I'm on three points, <laughs> bitches. Have you guys ever gone trick-or-treating and seen anyone dressed as anything other than like skeletons and zombies? I think um, adult Halloween has different costumes than kids' ones. Bruno Mars. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was confident. You will respect the confidence. <laughs> We're just throwing out guests, right? Forget yeah, the going, lives, going, forget everything. I thought it would be a bit easier for some reason. Hitler. No. <laughs> That's scary. What? Have you That's ever scary. seen someone dress as Hitler? No, I haven't seen anyone dress as I don't even know what Snooki is. I've only ever seen skeletons. <laughs> uh, by the way, Hitler's my next well, guest. Well, I'm starting to get, go along with it. He's like, what's scary? Vampires, ghosts, skeletons. Well, what's Hitler? <laughs> Snooki, what is it? Okay, we've got oh my two God, more what singers. about Gandalf? Singers aren't even scary. Gandalf? No oh, can I just Can I just take any Lord of the Rings? No Lord of the Rings. Can we do gold okay. and gold? Next point wins. <laughs> I've got three. Fuck off. All right, next. next Jordan's one. on zero. He <laughs> wants a gold to go on a classic maneuver. Next one's worth double points, Jordan. So you can okay, finish okay. last. Give Jordan yeah. a guess. We'll, we'll chill for a second. Give Jordan a good oh, guess. Take your time. No. Singers, singers, singers. Uh, who sings? Uh, I'm gonna Post go. Malone. Too early. <laughs> what? I'm going to go with Katy Perry. Bing. Go. Yeah. Nice. That's right. One what? singer left. Very iconic at the time. Elvis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that at the time. I did not hear that at the time. I'm going with. Uh, I'm going with uh, Usher. No, male singer. Dude, all I can think of is Tyo Cruz. Usher was big. And the one that sang um, Creeper. Oh man, <laughs> that's Usher. But, but the uh, yeah. Think about the, some of the biggest mate. pop songs of that time. Justin Bieber. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, that's an easy one. Yes. Oh, okay, man. let me see. I think there's only one. Oh. That was double points as well. There's only one left, I think. Can you tell get. us a category of like It's a movie, movie character. Oh, mm. no. Oh, wait, wait. I got I got a guess here. And their name starts. This might be too confusing. No, no. Help, help. Okay. It starts with an emotion and then an item er. What? An item er. <laughs> What the For fuck? example, Happy Gilmore. No, uh, no Happy Dicer. <laughs> Sad fucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, an emotion. Uh, it's a this kids movie. This is very confusing. <laughs> Jordan has got a none. None, and I will not get this one. I'll it tell you that much. M. Do you reckon I even know what this is? E oh. Yes! <laughs> well done, Zach! Wow, well okay, done. Okay, the MVP this week is Zach. No, me and, me and Peter I are got tied. Quite a lot. Oh, did you get as many? I got all these singers. Actually, you did get quite a lot. Peter and I are both on four. Jordan's well on zero. Done, I'm everyone. happy with that. Zach ganked my eye oh, in the only one, so the You one, didn't guess it. Wait, I, just, I might get I, this one. I, I threw it up. No, the one that I didn't know. There's two that I didn't know. Glee Cheerios. Mm. Oh, that's the other. Like, they're like the cheerleaders. Oh, from Glee. Okay. Oh, that was actually my next guess. <laughs> Count me Glee on five. Glee is a bit of a timepiece from back then. So what did you guys think of the year 2010? Did it's it take you iconic. back? It really does take you back. Because like, I feel like those years are your formative years for people of our age. You know what I mean? Like yeah. high school age. That's yep. crazy. Yeah, that was I Call was... of Duty time for me. That's that was, why you didn't that... know anything about any character. Wasn't it was going just, outside. just yeah. Call of Duty for ah, you. Ah, dude. dude. I was... Um, Ghost. I did a bit of a recent watch of Creeper and Creeper. TNT by Captain Sparkles. Dude, I, they got deleted the other day. Yeah, no, that's why I went back and watched them. Very smart, actually, because mm. the audio for them got it like bugged out. YouTube replaced Captain Sparkles' audio. And then he was like, oh, while it's getting fixed, I've re-uploaded them with the original audio. So the bug's probably going to get fixed. Yeah. But his new videos have like 500,000 views on both of them. Oh, because Farm everyone's like, extra oh, I better check that out. Oh, yeah, that's, that's tens of thousands just from people. From people like me being like, I remember that. Let's go on a nostalgia trip. Crash some diamonds, get a baby, go to sign up, me, that MLG pro. You know what my favorite one of those from back in the day is uh, Moving to the Nether by Yogg's I watched that as well. That's a good one. I don't Literally know last night. Uh, it's uh, moves like Jagger. <laughs> I'm moving to the Nether. It's, um, really, it's really iconic. Wow. Um, 
parody songs. They parody were huge. Songs parodies were, were really crazy. big. Oh yeah, because we talked about the TikTok parody. Before obviously. copyright came in, all the Minecraft parody. Isn't it crazy how Minecraft is still huge? Yeah, and it's been twelve years. Yeah, it's the Lego. Where are the recent Minecraft parodies? I, I feel like those type of videos just. Don't, I mean, parodies are protected from copyright. Uh, but the problem with an automatic system is that it still flags you. Yeah. And then you have to appeal it and you are within your rights to do it, but then you have to go through the whole process. Bit awkward. Yeah. The yeah. golden age of YouTube, mate. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's gone and done. I don't know. Mr. Beast pretty popular. Yeah, but it's, it's Mr. Not. Beastified. It's not, the, it's not organic. That's our weekly podcast, <laughs> Mr. Beast mentioned everybody. <laughs> sound effect for that, I hey. think that's more organic as Mr. Beast compared to what? Just copying a song. No, but it's just made by some person in their like basement who's like what, so much more organic. Oh. What do you think is more creative? Mr. Beast videos or parodies? Mr. Beast videos. No way. Definitely. I think parodies might be more creative. More creative. Mm. Mm. What do you reckon, Zach? Uh, yeah. I th- mm, nah, Mr. Beast videos. Shout outs. Parodies are too easy to make. Speaking from experience. Yeah. I feel like this is a very good segue into yes. what I've done this week, Let's which go. was the Here video we that went up last night. You lose Mr. your cosplay Beast. twelve. Yes, the Donkey Kong rap came out. Bang on Spotify, everyone! If you haven't heard it, I love how just just randomly on the DK rap thing, you mentioned like DK rap and showed everyone and stuff like a hundred times. Didn't mention any other part of you lose your cosplay. You're just like, dude, the DK the rap. DK though, rap though was you've huge. You've been so much more excited for that part than the rest of the video. What yeah, do I, I might search. I might on do Spotify. more. Uh, Donkey Kong rap. It'll come up. You'll see me. Donkey Kong. What's your What's your picture on Spotify? Donkey Kong. Oh, rap. I don't. You said I haven't set up. Rap. Donkey, rap. Donkey, Donkey rap. Rap. Isn't quite it. Hang on, I've forgotten a word. Yeah, so I was thinking of doing more original That's songs a great like it. Cover for uh, like an album picture. Yeah, album art. Oh, it's Zach smoking a nana. Oh, that is good. Why are you uh, playing? Uh, Stop play. playing. Sorry, I was just looking at it. Sorry, I'm just liking it and putting it on repeat for the rest of my life. Oh, wait. I can play it through the speakers, guys. Oh, but I won't. Please, I've, I've heard it enough times. I showed it to Sophie. She enjoyed it. She, she was like, it's yeah. good. She gave there's, it there's massive raps when she got here this morning. Yeah. There's some bars. It was a new new project that, you know, like is different to the norm. So that's why I was uh, having a lot of fun with it. But that got me like, I've done a like literally over a hundred parodies in my time. Yep. And this was the first like original song. Felt great because uploading it didn't have to be worried about copyright. Yeah, true. <laughs> Just got to be worried about the Nintendo ninjas being like little kids such as Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong. And I'm like, coconut cream pie, <laughs> slapping those cheeks. Classic. <laughs> so, what, are be- they, what could they do? Because it's their IP? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. But it's parody. You're fine. We talked about this last time. So we? if I dress up as Mario and say <clears throat> some really fascist shit. You know, they're going to be That angry. might be more hate speech problems than anything else. Mm. I think you're protected. Like, dude, like, do you remember the Smosh Legend of Zelda rap <laughs> from way back when? I hate that I do. Yeah, like, <laughs> those are super iconic and they're just like being the characters, but they're just being so silly that I think it's clearly a parody. Mm. Yeah, it has to be clearly a joke from what I understand. Yeah, it has to. You can't just be like, look, it's me, Donkey Kong from the Nintendo game, Donkey Kong. Uh, I'm gonna cream pie people. I don't know. That's pretty silly. <laughs> like that. I don't know. That's maybe not silly enough. Yours is very silly. Yeah, it's funny that you should mention that. I didn't talk about anything else related to you losing cosplay because the the video starts. If you haven't seen it, go watch it after this podcast. But the video starts with me dressed as Zero Suit Samus, and I basically Seduce. prank prank called Mars. Like he had no idea it was happening, but I pretended to be a cam girl and called him over Discord. That took me like. The reason the episode's been so late is because I tried to tee that up with him like four or five months ago. And I was like, oh, you want to record a funny video of us playing with items? And he was like, uh, yeah, sure. And then there were like three or four different times where we organized it. And then one of us like had to bail. So it took so long to organize. And then after all this time, I'm like, oh, can we just film a little sketch at the start about something about, you know, pro players and items? He was like, sure. And he turns on his camera and I'm in the Zero Suit Samus cosplay. <laughs> And he sounded like he wanted to fucking not be he there. He was not excited about it. <laughs> yeah, it was, I think, his night time. So it was like 11 p.m. And he was like, fucking items video. Gonna play the lag. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> massive lag. And then I came in with that. And I think that perked him up a bit. Yeah, that was. he seemed pretty, pretty hyped to be there. Pretty yeah, no, that, was, that was hilarious. Zero Suit gameplay, pretty good, gotta uh, say. So you plan on doing more parodies, uh, songs? Original songs, yeah, like... I don't know if you have heard songs by like Danny Gonzalez or... Oh, that does sound familiar. What is it? Tom something. I can't remember his surname. But it's like uh, Bo Burnham. Yeah. It's like mm. comedy songs about Musical random comedy. things. If I ever think of an idea, I might give it a shot. Nice. Pretty, might make it video game based, like to start with, but you know. 
Yeah, it's pretty good in your domain, the whole musical aspect. Yeah, I love it. Compared to any too. of us, or especially me. Or Definitely like, me yeah. and you. <laughs> Peter's had a bit more experience, I feel like, musically. But I feel like yeah. I have no training, but I have, have a natural... Yeah. You're good with the attitude rap. ...attitude to music to some degree, but I have no training, so I have never really fostered it. Compared you listen to, to like, rap, and people always talk about the Ridley rap. Being yeah, the like Ridley rap is iconic. and fucking bars. It's like pretty iconic. And that's just like, fucking write it down on fucking Google notepad. Docs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and like... You know, an hour while we're just chilling. Doing a shit. The, I want to see the Hopcat, res- not, I guess, resurgence, but like also evolution when we do- Oh, dude, the glow up's going to be unbelievable. The underdog's diss track, the glow up's which is crazy. coming soon. Yeah, we're actually in the process. Of, we've talked about that for a while, but we're actually in the process now. When we say soon, it will be 2023, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. sooner than it could be. Might be our Christmas present to you, if you're lucky. Otherwise, Valentine's Day. The final point I had about you lose your cosplay, I wanted to grab an opinion, so- Spoiler alert, at the end of the video, I lost to a shulk. I have two shulk sketch ideas that I wanted to ask Run you guys by. Yep. which one we should do. Right. So the first one I already mentioned to Jordan, it's how shulk can see the future. So it's someone that is about to pick up shulk and then they have a vision of them in like one year's time and they're a massive Xenoblade weeb and they're like, oh, did you know that if you use the Monado Art landing leg cancel to swap it out and yep. bust mode and all that? And they are basically just like, holy shit, I don't want to become like a Xenoblade shulk soy boy. And then they do some sort of action and it ends up they become the soy boy. Uh-huh. So it's like a ti- it's like a time travel thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. They see the future and they can't avoid it, but they yeah. try to avoid it. And they, yeah, yeah, that's a classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. And it could. Uh, so that's the, that's the one. Idea number two is the Monado arts that they like don't tell you about. Like Shulk discovers a whole heap of different Monado <laughs> arts. <laughs> this is good. And yeah, one of them one. is like, he he's like, you've only used the main five Monado arts. And then there's like a Monado art for, I don't know, like... Like getting a handshake right every single time. <laughs> it's like good. it's Monado arts that are just like really. I haven't thought of I any ideas. I definitely vote the second one, yeah, but it too. would be highly dependent on what you come up with. I think well, it's like things that are like very extremely situational. Yeah, it's I like, like good basic. Yeah. Activate the Monado art for certain things like that. What if at the end of that he loses his sword? And he loses the ability to turn on these Monado arts and then he just casts fucking everything up immensely because he just doesn't have the power. So he's like, he doesn't have the power to do the handshake and he just goes with the handshake with the like wrong hand, left hand. He's like, oh shit. And it's like, I don't And know. then he gets depressed and he, <laughs> this sounds like a very dark turn. No, I'm thinking like, <laughs> I like it, it, it goes to show that you don't need, you got to learn these things for yourself. You can't cheat your way oh, into things. Oh, it's a lesson. A story, and he, he's like yeah. in bed with the girlfriend and he's like, erection. And then nothing happens and he's like, oh, I don't have the sword, babe. No. <laughs> smash smash <laughs> you wouldn't want to do face. that <laughs> but yeah, yeah like just using Monado arts for the like smallest thing it's like your soup's too cold and it's like the Monado art for enjoying a cold soup <laughs> 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 stuff like that yeah, that's, that's funny great. yeah I think that one that idea yes. yeah don't talk right. shit about the first one but I really like the second one right, the first one guys. reminds me of other stories I've heard where the second one is more unique it's original yeah mm-hmm. well there you go the Hidden Monado Arts, coming soon. That was my week. Pretty much you lose your cosplay editing. Yeah, I noticed because you sent us the DK rap the day that you recorded the actual thing, like the video. And I was like, he must be excited for this one. If you smash the editing, upload yeah. and unlisted and showed us, you're keen on this one. So Yeah, now I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I know you're inspired. It's a weird thing when you like finish something you were really invested in and you're like, ugh, do it again. Now what? Uh, yeah. yeah. Now I have to come up with It feels hard to get like reinvested in a new idea. Mm, definitely. You guys working on any big projects? No. I've got a video coming out tonight. It'll Ooh. maybe already be out by the time people are watching this. It's my Elite Smash Nuzlocke 2. Uh, what I did with it was I was more involved in the script writing this time, which was kind of fun. Like kind of going over its tang timestamps. And instead of just saying what I'm doing in the background stuff, hmm. I'm trying to weave in much more of what I said at the time. Nice. So I was like, yeah, that's next good. one, I found a hard opponent. And then, then it's like, goes to me being like, oh, this one, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this opponent. is a hard opponent. <laughs> <It's> a hard <laughs> opponent. Whoa. Nah, you know what I mean, though. Imagine like, yeah. writing the script and it's just saying what you're about to say beforehand. <laughs> it's like, so next I thought I'd go for the spike. Oh, let's go for a spike. Yeah. <laughs> the whole oh, time. I kind of did do that in the first episode because I didn't write the script with that as much in mind yeah i didn't re- i kind of just said what happened and then it didn't really fit with the gameplay as well so i've tried to weave the gameplay in more this time so like you know it's it. kind of funny Check you can out. have banter with yourself in like post mm. commentating mm. so you're just like 
And in the next match, I was like, I think you did it in your in first Nuzlocke. You were like, I was having a great time. And it cuts you being like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I was like, at least I was taking the loss well. And then I'm like, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> yeah, it's like you create some back and forth. It's like scripted conversation with yourself. Yeah. Kind of crazy. Me and all my mates having a chat. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds like a photo where it's like me and all my friends at a party. They're yeah. all just out of frame. The Nathan Fielder one. Oh, that's the classic. Yeah. Such a good yeah, selfie. that's me writing a script for myself. So, yeah. Getting on the scripted video train yeah, with Jordan. Yeah, I've got that coming out as well for my melee video. But I feel like I haven't posted much recently because I'm like trying to also learn how to do it better before I do more. Dude, script writing is hard. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, because you have so many it. VODs and stuff, and it's so hard to like weave it in and get everything you want across there without it becoming boring. Yeah, exactly. And like trying to work out, especially for my videos, like how you're going to create some kind of story out yeah. of it and then apply the story to the footage rather than. Yeah. Using the footage to make the story, it's like the other way around almost. Yeah, like you're using the footage as a tool and telling your story yeah, rather than exactly. just trying to narrate your footage. Wow. So that's why I'm going to try and get better at and stuff. First. So a thousand kills is Ganon coming out in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that yeah, shit's true. That shit is hard. Awesome. Awesome. Got... Sorry? I said he's still working on that. I thought they came out. Oh, no, shit. nowhere near. Damn. Well, you got Bonnie as well, Jordan. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a video about um Bonnie, like training Bonnie, the dog. That's a good we're one. We're talking about Holly the best, best tricks to. Yeah, if Did you have you talk about that on the podcast. Yeah, we talked about doing a backflip. Best flip. tricks to True. teach Bonnie. Yeah, if you have any realistic suggestions, I'll be down. Of Here's a good trick: flip. don't eat the poisonous plants in your yes. house. Yes, yes, she's been doing that. Bastard. <laughs> it turns out everything is poisonous, like a monster. Monster, yeah, call they're it. poisonous. Apparently, Most indoor plants are poisonous to dogs. Yeah, a bit of a prank there. Well, but like, I'm sure they're not gonna die or something. Cats are Hopefully. like will die from eating lilies, the flowers. Uh, so like, there's loads of stuff that'll just screw your animals over. That is grim. We got a doggy door yesterday, actually. She got that down, which is good. Hype, pretty sick. Is it big yes. enough for you to fit through? No. Oh, no. big mistake, dude. It's a life hack because I got locked out of this house so many times. Oh, but then people can just crawl in. Well, they don't know that. Well, but yeah, okay. You're gonna crawl in and you're gonna cop an Ollie to the face who's gonna be barking. You are not robbing uh, this house. True. But if I crawl in, Ollie's like, yay. Yeah. And also you, you can, can lock it, it. You can also lock it Slobbery lock kiss it, Yeah I'm pretty sure That's half the reason Ollie thinks he's a human And he jumps up on the couch And he expects all the Because you keep crawling Through the get. door Because we keep going Through the doggy door <laughs> You guys don't even Use the normal door ever <laughs> <laughs> Always the doggy door Well Ollie uses the normal door But we'll go around To the dog door <laughs> Yeah How have you actually used it? The doggy door? Yeah. So many times. Really? There was a period where me and out. Maddie both had lost our house key and we went through the doggy door every time. <laughs> that is so funny. That was a good month. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Unless we had the garage remote, but like if we were just going through the front, yeah. Just go through the doggy Did you door. leave through the doggy door as well? <laughs> no. Well, how'd you lock the door if you couldn't? You can lock it from the inside it. and oh, shut it. That's right, yeah, the yeah. button, and then you come back. Yep, I God, that'd, that'd be a bit too much, yeah. <laughs> leaving through the dog door. Have a good day, babe. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it, you're not starting your day off well if you're going to work through the doggy door. That's so good. That's so <laughs> like that's you know waking up on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah, get, I feel like that's the something door. that some like fake motivational person would say. It's like in the mornings I like to leave through the doggy door and keep myself grounded yeah. just to remind myself <laughs> that I'm not better than the animals around me. That's so. Mark Wahlberg's daily <laughs> routine. Exactly. Yeah. Four a.m. Crawl out the doggy door. <laughs> Go for a walk with my dog, but as an equal. <laughs> <laughs> They crawl around. Halfway, the dog picks up the lead and walks me. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mark Wurbog, uh, he's copped it for no reason. I think he, he definitely did one of these, though. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did see it. And it Every was like some 2.30 a.m. start shit. Every celebrity that has done one of those daily routines is lying through their teeth. Yeah. How do we know, though? Maybe that's why they're Maybe popular. that's why they're famous. Yeah. Nobody lives like that. I reckon How they do. do? Yeah. Except Mr. Beast. Where's the jingle? <laughs> where's, the, where's the jingle? <laughs> no, it's an air horn. I would love to spy on a celebrity. Why? That's called being well, a to, stalker. To see if it's true. Oh, yeah, okay. That's what people say. And I reckon that's The what Rock does They a lot. hang outside your house, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, I reckon The Rock would do a lot, you know? Oh, we did actually go through our other daily He's routines. Zach kind of did his. Oh, I kind of want to bring I feel back like that. it would be similar. I like, want to know. What's yours oh, then? Yeah. Oh, I wake up. Uh, really? Usually what time? <laughs> wake up. It depends when Sophie's alarm goes off. Because she goes, <laughs> simp, simp. Because she goes, she like normally goes to work or something. No, has, same, same here. Honestly, 100%. yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't. I'd be sleeping in. So it's usually about eight, usually. Yeah, but it could be like nine. I usually piss about on my phone in bed for like fifteen piss minutes. Piss the bed. Yeah, I'll piss the bed piss for the fifteen bed. minutes. 
<laughs> That's crazy. Straight. <laughs> just constant stream, 15 minutes. And then meditate. <laughs> In my piss. <laughs> meditate and urinate, baby. Yeah, so then I think it's a bad habit. I just grab my phone and check my social media for the first thing I do in the day. Probably a bad thing. Yeah. I'll usually walk to the coffee shop and walk back, which is a nice like 30 minute round trip to get my daily addiction coffee. That's a very good length of walk. Yeah, it is a good walk. Yeah. It, I do enjoy that. I used to think it was too much and then I stopped being a baby. Got into it. Yeah. Um, then I'll probably, I don't even know what I'll do. I'll probably jump on to do some work, but my work's so scattered. I don't just edit like you from nine to five. I'll like, oh, it's just so all over the place. It'll be oh, like, I don't know when you're feeling that, inspired, 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 yeah. inspired, you'll go for it. Yeah. But if I'm not inspired, I'll be like, I don't know, underdog's thumbnail. I don't oh, know, watch an underdog's video. Kind of more on the like, feelings. Yeah. Just random things. And I'll be like, I don't know. Then on random days, I stream during the day. Or maybe at night time. Maybe I'll have <laughs> lunch at some point. Just living in the moment, man. And then, I don't know, Sophie gets home. I don't know. Dude, it's so all over the place. <laughs> I don't happens. have a schedule, guys. That's why these celebrity ones don't even feel like shit. You just remember live. family time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I have five hours of family time. <laughs> well, good for you for putting that in. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. And then, yeah, work on videos when I can. But I don't know when I do. This is an absolute classic. Wake up, coffee, 16 hours of sporadic work <laughs> all over the place. Yeah, it might work at 9 p.m. at night. Who fucking knows? Know, have you seen those TikToks and it's like the day in the life of a streamer? Yeah. <laughs> and they're just like, I uh, wake up and then uh, like uh, at 2 p.m. and then I'll have my G Fuel, a few tubs of G Fuel. And then uh, <laughs> I was thinking about streaming, but I was feeling a bit tired. So I didn't stream today. And then it's just like, that's but, it. <laughs> yeah. So Jesus. I went back to bed. It was like day in the life of an up and coming streamer. But there's just like a lazy kid. So they're just like, so good. They're just like, I played a bit of Nintendo. And then I didn't feel like streaming. So then I just went back to bed. <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> so funny. After doing some more live streaming yourselves, <laughs> how the hell? Like, I don't understand how the people who stream for like twelve hours a day—that's not in me at all. It's, they watch YouTube videos. No, but like some people are actually actively doing stuff the whole time. Even just being there and being in front of chat is still tiring. That's just like, dude. Every time I, it's like you can notice really quick the good streamers. Cause I've tested this where it's like I will just click on like a random streamer, right? And then I'll be watching for a bit and it'll be like. I don't know, maybe they're not even talking for like the 20 seconds. Then I'll yeah. click on XQC, who's like the biggest streamer. I'll click on his stream. No matter, it's just like a random time. And he's always like loudly like uh, talking in like a vibrant way. And it's just yeah. like, how? How do you find the And he's tr- the If you've watched his VOD, every VOD is around an 18, 20 hour stream. I'm like, it doesn't even make is, sense. Is he a good example? I thought there were lots of times where he just reacted and like ate and didn't say anything for well, 10 they, minutes. It's literally as well. They're having a meal or something. I guess just, that, they, that'll like, be like his downtime will be like, he's having a meal, but I, every time he talks, it's like very enthusiastic and it's like exciting. And like, it's always smiling. like addressing chat. Like, yeah, you know, stuff. it's exhausting. I, I can't eat on stream. I don't like it either. That's oh, a problem. Really? And people it. are like, mm, chewing noises. And I'm like, you're <laughs> oh. making this worse for me. Why don't you use mute? Uh, because people like it. You yeah, know, get that, the viewers. <laughs> that's not in me. I couldn't keep it up. For like yeah, eight, like be, even just, ten hours. I know. I, I want to like six hours. I'm cooked. Yeah, it's like I want to talk while eating, but then people hear me chew, and I'm like, but I feel like that's man? fine as well. Like that guy, I show speed, or is that how you say mm-hmm. it? Like he only streams like two hours at a time. Really? Like, yeah, but he just does super high. I've never energy. watched his streams. It's just like super high energy two hour stream. Okay, and then that's obviously he's huge as well. Right. So play to your strengths. Interesting. Maybe it's different platforms because Twitch it rev- like. Because he's YouTube only. He was Twitch, but then he got banned. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. But, uh, yeah, I guess it's just play to your strengths. He obviously comes in with more of an idea of what he's going to do and then it's just super high energy for it. Yeah. But then, obviously, someone like XQC is just streaming and just keeps it going and, like, talks about random shit. Got to yeah. respect uh, Amaranth for getting wrinkly toes in the pool in the, in the hot tub <laughs> for being in there for 12 hours. Did you hear about all that? Oh, dude, it's crazy. Oh, okay. Because, yeah. 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 Is she doing different stuff now? I, I don't think Jackson would have heard about this. So, And for any viewers that haven't... Oh, you have? Haven't. Okay, so Amaranth was an incredibly big streamer that streamed like 16-hour days every day. She would often wear a lot of low-cut tops and do hot tub streams and that sort of thing. Uh-huh. She has like a huge OnlyFans and stuff. She's not like... Yeah. It's not like she's like ashamed of this. It's just her... You know, she has a lot of simps and she knows it. Yep. Okay. Turns out she has a husband 
And it also turns out that the husband is very abusive and was pretty much forcing her to continue. Oh, I think this I did read this. Extremely, yeah, like, and he had like hard bank working, accounts and yeah. all that stuff. It's crazy. She was working like so many hours every day, and she was pretty much getting forced to like always wear revealing clothes. And and it kind of forced her to a breaking point where she like showed people on stream the texts. It wasn't like. She couldn't go and solve it with him, which was what you would hope someone would be mm. able to do, but he still sounded so unreasonable crazy. and awful. And he had control of all the bank accounts. It yeah, was crazy. fucking terrible. Jeez. And you, you didn't, didn't even know she had a husband. Like, yeah. like, a lot of... It's a bit of a weird moral one of, like, female streamers pretending to be single so that the... They get more... The, like, yeah, the, so the guys... Oh, like, fucking do it. If anyone in your chat thinks they have a chance with you, they're an idiot yeah. anyway. So like, <laughs> I don't have a problem. If it's gonna with be that. like, I oh, can't get with Amaranth now. She's got a husband. You were fucking stupid to begin with to think yeah. you had a chance. I had a shot before. <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Uh, <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, it's really just adding one extra guy on the like twenty thousand <laughs> who are already like already live watching her. It's an interesting moral dilemma though, because then if if you're like pretending to be single, are those viewers that you really want to have? Yes. I mean, it depends what your moral standpoint is. Surely, what? I mean, why it, not? It's just you're trying to make money. Out well, yeah, it depends if you'd rather foster a community of people you actually like, or you're just trying to get a lot of viewers. Oh right, okay. For see. example, like a lot of small streamers wouldn't want to hide this because they don't want people to get the wrong idea. Oh yeah, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah, because like, for example, like talking to Sophie about like her interactions with like other <clears throat> guys in her life. Yeah. Like single guys, she's like, I'm glad I could bring up you so they know that I'm not trying to be weird when I'm just trying to be friends with them. Yeah, like, sure. She's like, I'm glad that I like have mentioned in conversation that like you're a part of my life so that I can actually just try and be friends with this person without them thinking there's going to be something going on. Yeah, I yeah. like doing that too. Actually. And so like, that's the thing like with this stream, it's the same idea. It's like, do you really want all these viewers who are going to hope that there's going to be something going on because it's so just going to create a weird vibe? Yes, I would definitely, if that's my job. Yeah. But yeah, I've seen that she's doing like, because she owns like a lot of, Animals and stuff. I, I've yeah, seen that's her now passion. she's doing streams with animals and stuff more, which is really she likes cool. horse riding. Yeah. yeah. Well, her whole goal in making money is to make an animal shelter or something. Good that's for her. Whole, her good whole for bit. her. Yeah. It was like kind of crazy when she was saying like, "Oh, I'm so happy I can just wear clothes now," and she was wearing that's like a fucked. sweater. That's she doesn't. Up. She's not getting like forced to wear a low cut top. It's like so he's sad, gone? but it's good that he's out of the picture. He's now, like yeah. seeking help or something because he like I feel like when you're in your own kind of like bubble yeah your own bubble you're like uh, yeah what i'm doing is right and then he heard himself on these voicemails and in these texts and she said this hmm. he heard it and he was like damn that is really fucked up i was being shit but who knows how much you mean that yeah oh well, good for when you, you get guess. exposed that hard yeah. you're not gonna be like oh you know what i stand by it uh, most i sound <laughs> like a bloody legend in most these people texts do though they double down and they're like no nah, i didn't do anything wrong and this is not true but so it's i guess it is in a way good that he was like, yeah, my bad. Well, it's the classic PR thing to be like, I am now seeking help. Yeah, I guess. You know, he hasn't like, really done anything, but it's better than denying it, I guess. Yeah. Because oh, that's definitely. what everyone says, right? When they get cancelled, they're like, oh, I had some serious issues. Yeah. I'm seeking help. Because it means it's like, I'm not a bad person. Yeah, I'm my, just going through something. Yeah, and I'm, not gonna, I'm fixable though. You know, it's, it's a bit of a cop out, but it <laughs> is good. health. It's not your fault, but it is your problem. <laughs> that's rough. <laughs> is it's that a good take. place to good end it? Yeah, we yeah, are pretty far in. So. Pretty we're like an hour in, so I'll end it there. Don't forget, we have another extended roughly podcast. 40 minutes for the extended podcast. Head on over to the Patreon, guys. 40 episodes of the Underdogs podcast we're in now, and only five of them Ooh. we've had the Patreon. So that's 35 free episodes. And if you want more, Patreon. Patreon. We love you guys. Peace out, gamers. Check you next time. Stop yeah, why don't I just not stops. Yeah, how about Jackson doesn't try to do it? Say Goodbye. Cool. Penis. <laughs>